All right, so it's got to cook for a second, so let me show you what to do first, and then I'm going to come back and show you some science stuff. Okay. You need a brand new bar of ivory soap, all right? It's got to be fresh bar of ivory soap. And what I've done is you could just put the whole thing in there, but I've cut it into the pieces, so I just I, I want a little bit more surface all right. area, all right? So now we're going to put it in the microwave, and we're going to put it in there for about, oh, I don't know, maybe 80 seconds, a minute, minute and a half, somewhere around there, I don't know. Okay, okay, go. So it's just going to cook away in there, all right? Okay. So the camera can kind of cut away and do this every once in a while. You can kind uh, of see them in there. It's, it's just going to have to work here for just a second. We'll get back to it. All right. Ivory is a special kind of soap. Here, watch this. Here's a regular bar of soap. Drop right. it in the water. Ready? So regular bar of soap, it sinks. Six. But put the ivory in. Ivory. <gasps> it's the soap that floats. And so why does it float? Because there's little pockets of air inside. Oh, it's one of those okay. little legends that they whipped it a little bit too long, so there's pockets of air. Gotcha. So if you look over at the microwave, there's a possibility that with those pockets of air, if you kind of look inside, something kind of cool is happening inside. Those pockets of air start to get hot, and that uh, steam that's produced inside, because there's a little bit of water, starts to kind of push out a little bit, and so now it starts to expand. So you see what's doing oh. inside? It's just getting a little <laughs> like bit bigger big and bigger. Nice. And you're at work, if you smell ivory soap coming from the cafeteria, you're going to know that somebody's doing the trick, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's the soap that floats Busted. and they said that they whipped it just a little bit too long so that, that's what the legend is and oh. so they, what, a, what a great kind of marketing ploy now people who have tried it before and it said it didn't work it's because they probably had ivory soap that was sitting in the uh, in the cupboard for a long long time so you need the stuff that's pretty fresh gotcha. and a microwave works by taking those water molecules and rubbing those water molecules together and heating those up and so that's why things that have water content will kind of work that way ready I think it's almost yeah. done Oh, oh, it's looking good. Oh, look at that. The souffle is done, kids. <laughs> look. Oh, it's soap souffle. Wow. Isn't that just that wonderful? Is amazing. Now, I made you some over here as well, just so that we have. No, stuff. it's okay. Um, <laughs> because it's not here. Put your hand on top and you can kind of feel. Oh, See? And now it's it's solid. See, it's kind That's of solid. Crazy. You know, it feels just like if you left this soap suds in your bathtub yeah. and they dried. That's exactly what it feels like. That kind <laughs> of like crusty stuff. And, and so now the question is, what do you do with this? So you just take right. this uh, to the employee bathroom and just set it there instead of the bar is <laughs> open. Now you can just chip at it uh, or throw it in the bathtub. Awesome. Or whatever it is that you want to do. But we put it up on the website and, and uh, kind of a fun thing to do with ivory soap and something to know about uh, solids, liquids, and gases. Yeah. You know, if you're Very teaching them science at the same time.